You know, up until now, I usually show you how much energy you need to keep the car warm in winter, right? But now it is pretty hot here in Norway. Uh, it's supposed to be 29 degrees Celsius outside. So I want to know how much energy is needed to keep the car cool in the sun. Yeah, so let's get in and check. I have like pre-cooled the car now for about half an hour. So that the inside should be like well tempered. Uh, the, way, the reason why I did that was that uh, we want to know how much energy we need to maintain the temperature. So it is 29 degrees Celsius outside. That's pretty hot. Let me see how many degrees Fahrenheit is that. We can always switch inside the car. Uh, there you go. 84 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I set it to... Well, it says 70 here, you know. Set the desired temperature to be 21 degrees Celsius. And then I use... Keep climate on. And I just leave it on automatic. So, uh, time now is uh, about 3 in the afternoon. I will wait a couple hours and check how much energy we uh, have spent. But what we have to also take note is that, okay, so we started with 241 kilometers. This is typical. I don't know that one, one kilometer here is 210 watt hour. Well, 210 watt hour, yes. Um, so uh, we'll wait a while and see you again then. All right, it's been about two hours now since I left the car in the sun with the heater, <laughs> the, the air conditioning on. And let's see now how it is. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, still nice and cold in here. Still 29 degrees Celsius outside. Same temperature. Of course, the sun has moved, but um, we consumed 9 kilometers so far. That means 4.5 kilometers um, spent. And that is that equals to 950 watts. Yeah, not too bad because uh, I believe in winter, we uh, consume like 50 percent we usually consume one and a half to two kilowatt to keep the car heated but I mean, obviously a heat pump is more efficient uh, well it depends but tesla does not have a heat pump for winter it uses a resistive heater right that's pretty cool you know i tried another test uh, the same day here where i i tested the sunshade for evanex but uh, the problem is that the weather changed so I cannot use that result, yeah. Um, but at least I know now how, how much it will use, you know, if you know, the windows are all open like that, yeah, not uh, covered. So uh, I guess uh, that's it for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and talk to you later.